What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to something new on the channel. Today, we are going to be bringing Pokemon competitive battles to the channel, learning what the heck we're doing with competitive battles and uh, maybe getting a little better at uh, Pokemon. Um, so, as you can see, as you can see, before I introduce our guest, um, right below me, you can see the notes here. And anytime I learn anything as we're going through this, I'm going to be adding to these notes. And it's something I, I, I thought was a pretty cool idea, just being able to see what I'm learning. Uh, but then the other thing that I'm super excited about is um, this isn't going to be a series. So you can just watch any random video and you won't be missing out on anything. But as I said before, we do have a guest. Our friend Kino is joining. Say what's up. How's it going, guys? All right. So today we're going to be jumping in with some OU battles. Um, I don't know how how many battles. I haven't thought that far. But, um, whoa. What was that? Anyway, um, which team should we start with? Are we going to start with the... Um, the... Yeah, that one, the Incineroar one, was pretty pretty balanced. So um, we're pretty balanced-based, and I think that's a pretty good, uh, a pretty good team to start with. Okay, so I need you to I need you to talk me through this. Well, what do we have here? All right, so, so yeah, actually, let me pull up the team builder on my page also. So this is the team that uh, Pokeen used that we were going to use because it's pretty, it's like it's solid and it also doesn't use like the super standard things that uh, you see in OU all the time. You know, we have like a Rhyperior instead of something like a Landorus or a Garchomp. We have um, like an Incineroar as opposed to you know some other fire type like like a Heatran or a Blacephalon or something like that. So it's got some pretty niche mons, um, but at the same time it's it's you know it's very solid. It's got a nice fire water grass core between the Incineroar, Gyarados, and Celebi. Um, it's got a nice defensive backbone as well between um, the Celebi, the Zapdos, of course the Rhyperior. Um, Incineroar is actually like surprisingly bulky. People people kind of forget that that thing can take hits, and Dark typing is always such a nice type as well. Um, but basically, you know, as as you Domino, as you like play more and you'll more and more, you'll kind of be able to identify uh, team what's for like team um, like play style not play styles but like composition styles. So you know, you can look uh -huh. at a team and be like, this is gonna be this guy's running hyper offense, this right. guy's running stall. So this would be an example of a very balanced team. It's got some offensive pressure between. The Gyarados, the Incineroar, we got a Scarf from Magirno, which is pretty cool. But it also has a very solid defensive backbone between, you know, the Mons I mentioned before, the Fire Water, Grass Core, etc. Right. I'm not I'm not much a, a fan of Magirna. See, that's one thing. When I uh, This Pokemon is amazing. <laughs> yeah, when I do competitive battles, I've gotta let my personal uh my personal vendetta against Pokemon uh I have to let that go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Wait, but what about Magirna? Don't you like it's so I, it's, it's so cute well, too. Well, so I watch competitive battles often. Like I watch Pokemon mm -hmm. uh, right. often, and Magirna is in like every team. Yeah, yeah, yep. The um the usage stats actually just came out this morning for uh for the end of January, and I think like, Magirna was somewhere in top five. I want to say it was like number two or three or something like that in in terms of usage. Of yeah, course, right Landorus so is still uh, it's number three, right behind mm -hmm. Landorus and Coco. Yep. Right, Tapu Koko, yeah. Landers and Ta Landers is on like almost half of every team. It's on right, like forty nine percent right. of the teams, I think. So, um, so I think that's pretty hilarious. And again, uh, I, I am a fan of Tapu Koko, so I guess I don't know. Well, I yeah, guess Koko's a cool man. Yeah. But anyway, so why don't we start getting some battles so we can uh, yes. we can start playing Indeed. some games. All right, uh, uh, home battle. All right, here we go. All right, I'm jumping right back in. Go for it. Oh God. Ooh. I see. Celestia, I see um, two of my favorite Pokemon. I'm. I'm distracted. I got. I got to let. The, okay. Um, who, who? Which ones? Which ones? Umbreon and Greninja. Nice. Okay. So Greninja once again can definitely just destroy this team. Um, if it. Typically, how I like to play also is if I see a, my opponent has a Pokemon that just can beat everything on my team, uh -huh. I will attack that. I will like. I will gun that thing down until it's gone. I'll even trade for it. They, he can kill one of my Mons if I get that Greninja in exchange. That's fine. Gotcha. Um, so we're definitely gonna look out for that. He's got Kartana, which is fine because we have uh, Zapdos, which is an amazing check to Kartana. Do we even we ha and we have Heat Wave too, which is awesome. Uh, we don't have HP Ice on Zapdos though, which is a little annoying because that makes Wait, the Altaria say, a little harder say, to beat. Did you say Gyarados is a check to Kartana? Uh, the Zapdos. Zapdos is a check to Kartana. Okay. Yeah. That makes so, sense. Um, I think our Magirna can also put in a lot of work here. Um, his main special wall is that Umbreon. 
and you know that can't really do much to us right um so what what would you like to lead here i wouldn't quite i don't know if i'd lead magirna actually leading magirna is great uh because we're choice scarf and he doesn't have a ground type so we can volt switch on out of any matchup we don't want to be in on let's do it and we don't want to be in on this but one. not again <laughs> but you don't want to volt switch either because this is this commonly likes to run choice scarf um mm. and if he's scarfed he will outspeed our scarf magirna and right. we will die to a v create so i would honestly go hard right carrier on this right victini is a threat man all right that's all right i'm actually i don't know if you have the calc open i'm gonna open the damage calc on my i do have it open, actually awesome cool so real quick i just want to calc to see if this oh, is yeah. a uh scarf victini or actually did we see an item on the victini oh it's life orb never mind even better didn't have to calc anything I forget sometimes I, I don't look at the item, but anyways. Um, this can't really hit us, but it's scary. So I'm, I'm gonna let you make the decision. You can either earthquake this or get your rocks up. I'm gonna let you make that call. Do I need rocks in this game? How important are rocks they? Rocks are always nice. Rocks are never bad. Um, and rocks would be nice against him also. Nice, good, I like it. And he switched out too. Um, so rocks are going to be especially nice against his Victini though, because as you see, we don't switch in too well to it. We need to keep our Rhyperior healthy or we will be in trouble against that Victini. Um, but rocks will be wearing it down uh, every time it wants to switch in. So would um, you switch to... Cinderor? On the Celesteela? Um, this thing... It, this thing's a pretty passive Pokemon. It usually, it's like Toxic Leech Seed Protect type stuff. So you can, you can go into a couple things. Um, Incineroar is not bad because you can threaten him out immediately with a Flare Blitz. Magirna is not bad because you'll dodge a Toxic and then you can Volt Switch on him. Uh, Zapdos isn't bad because I, I, I wouldn't go Zapdos in case he goes for Toxic immediately. We don't really want our Zapdos to be Toxic. So I would say either Incineroar or Magirna. I'd lead a little bit closer to Magirna. Nice. Good switch. See Flash Cannons, that does no damage. So uh, we can Volt Switch here. Um, if he stays in, then we can go Incineroar right after. And if he switches out, we get Momentum. And he chooses to stay in, so that's a should be a pretty easy. Actually, this could have earthquake, but they don't typically run earthquake. They also don't typically run flash cannon. Um, I would say either Incineroar or Gyarados are the switches. I'll let uh, I'll let you make I'm that gonna choice. Go Incineroar. He's not going to hit me with no see. earthquake. Ooh, Ooh look at that! So Ooh, really read him like a book. All right, so now nice. I should smack him with the flare blitz, or should you can I either flare blitz or swords dance? That's uh that, again. That's uh, I'm gonna oh, let, I'm gonna leave that decision to you. You as can't well. you can't tell me I can oh. swords dance. Oh, and you got him on the protect. Oh, this guy's done. Oh, blow something up right now. Victini's not gonna appreciate this. Greninja's not gonna appreciate this. Umbreon's dead. This Pokemon is gone. Goodbye, Umbreon. Oh, I'm sorry. It was a shiny Umbreon too. My it heart. Shiny. My heart. Umbreon's definitely one of the best shinies. I yes, love, I it love is. It is. So, so he goes Gren. This thing's faster than us and will kill us with Hydro Pump. We want to get the hell out of here. To uh, Zapdos. No, to um, Gyarados. I would. Yeah, either Gyarados or Celebi would be good. Celebi, they're both good. You, you, whichever, whichever one you prefer. Well, he's gonna outspeed Celebi, and if he if he has Ice Beam, won't that hurt as well? Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Um, with Gyarados, it'll give us a good opportunity to Mega as well. So yeah, I like Gyarados there. <clears throat> nice. Goes for the Surf, and he's Protean, which means he also more than likely has Ice Beam. Right. So that's definitely good that we went Gyarados here. I would take this opportunity to Mega Evolve as well, and um, I, I would just throw off a Waterfall, see how he see how he reacts. Um, this probably doesn't have HP Electric. Oh, it's Rock Slide. Oh, but now he's going to take super effective damage from Waterfall. He, oh, he gets oh the God, flinch! No. Of course he does! Uh, of course he does! <sighs> um, I mean, well, not much has changed. He's probably going to switch here. You can either Dragon Dance or Waterfall again, depending on which you, what you're feeling right now. But the, the good thing is that we got the Mega off, so we do... Uh, oh, he gunk shot him. Who is this guy? Who's, he, who's this guy I think he is? All right. I don't know, but he's about to die. Are we faster than this now? He's 377 max. He's still a little faster than us, but if he stays in, he'll nothing wants to take this anyways, especially after rocks. And he's going to die now, so that's that's fine. So like I said, this I'm happy with this trade. That Greninja could have been a huge problem for us, and I'm okay with a weakened Gyarados to get rid of it. This, though, is going to be... He brought it in so quick, I want to say it's probably Choice Scarf. But we have Zapdos, which is the best Kartana check in the game. So I would just go hard Zapdos. Don't worry about losing your boosts. We can potentially get him back later. 
Yeah, he goes for the Sacred Sword. Can we see a static? We got Rocky Helmet. And he's Life Orb, really? Wow, Life Orb Cartona. I haven't seen that in a while. Um, I would just discharge here. I know Heat Wave is super effective, but this thing's special defense is so low, and this might be worth noting also. Yeah, the thing's special defense is so low that this discharge is still gonna do a ton, and he doesn't have a discharge switch in. This will probably kill. Yeah, this it, it killed him after rocks, so nice. Now, okay, this this just got a little scary because we don't have HP ice on the Zapdos. We kind of need to get the hell out of here. Um, Magirna is probably the best immediate switch in. Um, yeah, Magirna's fine because it doesn't it doesn't beat his Victini. Well, it does sort of, but either way. We cotton guarded. Why? What's with all this cotton guard? <laughs> this is the same would, guy that cotton guarded earlier. Really? I think it is. No, it's a different guy. He is had Anthros. Yeah. Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't mess around with threats, man. I see a plus three defense, bulky Mega Altaria in front of me. I just want to click Floor Cannon. If he wants to go Celesteela, go for it, man. But we're we're attacking this thing. That's fine. We got we got that thing out of there, so this is okay. Um, we could have Ice Beamed as a mid ground play, but I wanted to make sure the Altaria died if it stayed in. Right. And again, we still have, now that we know two of this thing's moves, um, Flash Cannon, Flamethrower, and, oh, three, and Protect, he can't have both Leech Seed and Toxic. So we, this really isn't scary at all. Um, so Rhyperior or Incineroar? I wouldn't go Rhyperior just because, um, just because he revealed the Flash Cannon, but oh, I think right, Incineroar right, right, right. is very good. I'm always down for switching as into Incineroar. As Seed is his last. All right. So, um, all right, here's your read, right? You think he's going to protect again and you can sword stance on that? Or do you think he's going to hard switch and you should probably darkest lariat or flare blitz on that? Hmm. I don't want to waste the Z on a potential protect because he's yeah. just going to heal it all back with leech seed. Last time he, last time he protected. Last time um. he did protect. <clears throat> well. That's all right, he just flash cannoned. What do we, we sword stanced? That's not bad though. Oh, eh, we're not gonna die yet. We're not gonna die to the next leech seed. Well, we shouldn't unless Showdown's lying to us. So, this is still fine. Flare Blitz is a good play. He needs a double protect to uh to to kill us. So there's his first one. All right, leech seed shouldn't kill us. We should live with one percent. Oh, oh, Showdown, you freaking liar! That's only supposed to do twelve. Showdown said we had thirteen. I hate when Showdown does that, but um, hmm, that's a little annoying. Hmm. Hmm. His Altari is a little too healthy for us to set up with Gyarados. Um. Man, this thing's just annoying. Um. What do we? I mean, we we still have Zapdos. Yeah, Zap. I would. Yeah, I guess just go Zapdos and fire off a discharge is our best play. Because if he goes hard Altaria, we're getting damage and we could potentially paralyze him as well. So, uh, yeah, just go for that discharge. As he does go hard Altaria. This should Paralyze. do an okay Paralyze. Now. 14. See the para? No para. No para. Um, I would, and now at this point, I would go hard Altar, uh, hard Rhyperior. As he doubles to Victini. Awesome. That was amazing. Yo, hit him with the Smackdown. Ooh. He sh really shouldn't stay in. He should go, oh god, he stayed in to V-Create us, and his Victini's dead now. Yeah, definitely dead. <laughs> yeah. I like Smackdown though, because if he went hard Celesteela, we'd be able to Earthquake the next turn for super effective damage. So Victini's gone, which is nice. Our Rhyperior is still pretty healthy. He goes this. I mean, I think he's just gonna Flash Cannon again, to be honest. Um, are you? Yeah, you're definitely not faster. I don't know. If, I don't. Did we see Flash Cannon damage on Rhyperior earlier this game? No, we didn't. We talked about it, but I, I didn't. I never switched out to it. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, I don't know how much it's gonna do. What's our spideth investment? We are max spideth. I'm just wondering if we can take two is the thing. But then also, how do we... Well, no, then we can just uh, floor cannon the the Altaria. Um, we could... You know what? I think we can go for it. We can smack down into Earthquake, the Celesteela. He might also Leech Seed. Oh, oh we do not take me. two. That sucks. Um, hmm. That's yeah, fine. it did way more than... Yeah, it did. We can go Zapdos <laughs> on this. And we have Roost also. So we can heal up a little bit and uh, better take on the Altaria. He should switch or protect here, so this should be a pretty Right, right, right. As he does switch, he's taking more rocks damage. How much did our Discharge do last turn? Where'd it go? 
This charge did 14. Okay, so we won't do a KO just yet. It's good that we're healthy, though. Um, I would go hard Magirna here. Because even if he Dragon Dances, we will be faster. He goes for the Roost. Um, but we have Ice Beam. And that should do okay damage to the Celesteela as well. As well as do really good damage to the Altaria. Right. And if we can weaken this thing to the point where Zapdos knocks it out with Discharge, then we win. So he that's what has, we're kind of looking he for. He only right has now. these two left. Yeah, he's just got These those two, two but Celesteel is... Yeah, Celesteel is hard to kill, man. Right, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write that down. Celesteel <laughs> is hard to... Oh, you got the calc up on your stream, by the way, over the notes. Oh! He hyper-voiced. What kind of play was that? Alright, we should... I think we win now. Because even if he switches out, he'll be in range of Discharge. Oh no, well he'll almost be in range of discharge, but... Oh yeah, because Ice Beam will... We're also Rocky Helmet. So he's special Altaria. That makes life a little easier. How much is this going to do? Oh, we got a oh, crit! We got a crit. Oh, and the freeze. freeze! Let's go! Dominate okay, the okay. player all right, alive! Alright, Magirna. Right, just, Mag Magirna just heard me. Magirna heard me talking about her. Yeah, there you go. Magirna trying to become your new favorite Pokemon. Ah, uh, good luck at that. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just keep Ice... You just click Ice Beam yeah, two or three more Yeah, I think I, ice, ice Beam to win the game. Yep. Good stuff. That was a that was that was a nice longer game where uh, our opponent yeah. didn't forfeit after losing their first one. So that was good. Or, Hate a be weird or team, before but... I even clicked my lead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so wait, Umbreon isn't OU viable? No, Umbreon is either are you or UU. Wow, it thought immediately. Who does that? I would hard switch to Zapdos here. I don't want him to get any more lead seed recovery. But the last Ice Beam did twenty three. Yeah, but he's gonna protect. Oh, you're right, you're right. He definitely will. At least he should protect. If he makes a godlike play in Leech Seeds... Oh, he flamethrowered. Who is this guy? Oh, well. This is an, another free discharge, and I think rocks plus two discharge... Two discharges will kill Mega Altaria. So, I think he's got to sack this here, and then we can once again go hard Magirna. Click uh, Floor Cannon and win. Instead, he's going to sack his Altaria. I think we already know that we're faster than this, um, because he seemed pretty bulky. Yep, we are. So All that's right, going to go down, game. and now we discharge to win. We also just got another crit. Thank you, Showdown. <laughs> just did, did the did the critical did the critical rate get uh, get changed? Oh, you it did that. Did. I was I was just about to send that. That would have been funny. Uh, but did it did it get changed in Showdown already? Yeah, yeah. They fixed it in Showdown, so now it's the the lower the lower percent that it's supposed to be. Wait, the lower percent to get? I thought it was yeah. a higher percent to get a crit. No, crit rates went down actually. Oh. They used to be like six point two five. Now they're I actually don't remember all the time. It's like four something percent. I don't gotcha. remember exactly. I could actually be wrong. So if, if I'm wrong, hopefully people on your channel can blow me up. Well, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, we'll, we'll find out. All right, I'm going to jump in for another one here. And you slip know what? Your mic cut out. It did? Yeah, what, what did you say? Uh, I, don't, I have no idea. I don't remember what I said. Okay. You, you can watch the vibe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have a Blacephalon. We have a Mega Venusaur. Ooh. We have a Mamoswine. Is this the Mamoswine to the top team? This I was might about be, to say. This might be a Joey team. I'm going to go check. <laughs> his his video today had a Zard X. You know, I'm, about, I'm about to go check if Joey used this team like yesterday or something. Hold on. Hold the phone. Because if we can... I mean, I'm I'm going to say already that this Araquanid is most likely Sticky Webs. Okay. So you think Where? he'll lead Araquanid? Um, yeah, that's definitely very possible. Huh, this is not a this is not a Joey team. Look at that. Someone built their own Araquina team, nice. Or sorry, someone built their own Mamoswine team, nice. Anyways. So then I'm gonna lead with Zapdos. Yeah, I'd lead Zapdos. Zapdos is a pretty good match against everything except the Mamoswine. And right, the Venusaur, I guess. We don't really like Venusaur either. Um, but I feel like that's a pretty easy uh That's it. Hmm. You go Incineroar or Magirna, depending on how aggressive you want to play this. Can we go Incineroar? Let's see if he sludge bombs. Ooh, he did. That's going to hurt. Oh, uh, and he gets oh, the poison. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh -oh. uh, I, I might um, have gone too fast. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Hit him up with that Z move. Nothing really wants to take this. If he goes Magirna, we can Flare Blitz the next turn or Earthquake if we want to like predict the Araquanid. So I'd go straight for the Darkest Lariat. This should do decent damage to Venusaur. Yeah, I figured he would. That's good damage. All right. Yeah, there, so I, I guess there was no reason for him to switch. 
Yeah, this thing's kind of hard to kill, so I'm kind of okay with that. How do we kill this now, though? That's the question. We don't have any psychic attacks. We don't have any flying attacks. Wait, what's our Celebi got? Giga, Giga Drain. Drain. Nice. All right. This Pokemon's going to be hard to deal with. Um, mm. I don't think Scarf Ice Beam uh, kills this, but I think that's the hard... Well, yeah, that's probably the hardest thing we have to hit it with. We can't go Rhyperior because he'll be faster and he'll Giga Drain us. So we might just get uh, We might just get smacked up. Yeah, Mega Venusaur might be the bane of this team's existence. We got that other team also, by the way, if you want to switch it up. Yeah, no, we'll definitely we'll definitely do another video with that one. Okay, cool, cool. I got some teams too, if you want to use them. So we don't keep using Joey teams. Not that those teams are bad, but... Alright, he's... Oh, he he knew. He, I think he knows our team, to be honest. I think he knows this team. Because this isn't typically Scarf. He's going to get his webs up now, but this should be a pretty easy Zapto switch. We can defog him away. The only issue with that, though, is he's going to be able to go Venusaur and heal up. That's the scary thing. So, um, I, I don't think we have a way of preventing that. Because if we if we went back to Magirna, he would just go back to Araquanid. So, I think uh, Defog's still our best play. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to go Venusaur and Synthesis up. He stayed in! What is this guy doing? That's not going to... Yeah, that's okay. I mean, that did a lot, but... Eh. Where's the para? I need a para. Yo, yeah, where's our static at? We can afford to um to discharge before roosting. Just to get he stays this. in again? Or was it, was he trying to lull me into... He might want to get webs up. Oh, he went hard, Mammal Swine. He, Who he, is this? this? Did Joey get another account? Like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, um... I think we have to go Gyarados. We like we don't have a switch into this at all. Or you could Heat Wave, but I feel like we need to keep Zapdos around for um. Uh, well, is he gonna miss the the Stone Edge? He's gonna Icicle Crash. He's not clicking Stone Edge. At least he shouldn't. Oh, this is a free Icicle Crash for him. I well, do then feel like won't we. Won't that hurt Gyarados kinda... also? We're Intimidate, right? Yeah, we're Intimidate, so it won't hurt too much. Right, we're also a pretty it. bulky Gyarados. As he goes for Earthquake also. Ooh, okay, all right. Oh, he tried to predict our Roost. Um, do not Mega Evolve, because we like being immune to Earthquake. Um, I would just Waterfall here. Although, we could also ex we could also predict the uh, the double to um, Venusaur and go into our Magirna. Let's, let's get some momentum. Let's go Magirna. We need to, we're in the back a little bit right now, so we need to start hitting back. I would, right. I'm, I'm a it's double to, to start, Magirna It's right time to start playing some Tom Brady. As he actually goes to his own Magirna, which is kind of weird, but... Um, we can Volt Switch anyways, because we're Scarf and he's not. He's probably Assault Vest. Because that's what almost all Magirnas are. That or Shift Gear. Hmm. So let's see what he wants to do. As he stays in, he might just throw off his own Volt Switch, to be honest. Oh, someone messaged us? What's going on here? Oh, <laughs> slip. Oh my god. Anyways. Uh, so should I go Rhyperior? Yeah, let's go Rhyperior and hope he doesn't Flash Cannon us. Hopefully he goes for a Volt Switch of his own. And then we can get off some nice Earthquakes. Nice. I like it. So we can either Earthquake here or we can get up our rocks. All right. We're going to come back and we're going to win this battle. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. Here it comes. It's the fourth quarter. Actually, I guess technically it's only like the second quarter. But Oh, and okay, there's another we forfeit. It. We won. All because we switched into an electric type move. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, low ladder is really weird. You get people just kind of quitting for no apparent reason. I mean, he honestly, in my opinion, he definitely had the lead there. Like he could afford to play safe and like kind of keep the pressure going on us because we had a like we had to try very hard to keep that Mega Venusaur out. If Mega Venusaur came in on anything that we couldn't hit it with, it got a free synthesis and the game was pretty much over. We had no way of killing that thing. Right. So he definitely had we had to make plays. Basically, we, we had to make doubles like this one to keep Mega Venusaur out so we couldn't synthesis up again. But uh, I mean, sometimes they just forfeit. We had a lot of forfeits. Um, should we do one more in this one, or should we switch it up to a different? Your your call. Um... That is your call, man. How are you feeling? You know what? Let's switch it up. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap up. Right. I think we're gonna wrap up this episode uh, okay. of this battles. If you enjoyed. Hit the thumbs up down below and go ahead and comment anything that you saw that we can do better. Again, this is all about me learning competitive battles. Um, so thank you, Kino, for joining us. Yeah, it definitely was more ple uh, my pleasure. And we will see you guys in the next battle episode. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.